and here we go welcome back to a new video on the crossbar channel quick turnaround again uh, i want to make a video reaction it's not so much a reaction that is a flashback reaction i'm not sure if it's going to be a series of video yet but let's see how this one does and then i'm gonna decide later but the concept is i'm gonna go back in time with my mental time machine and see and compare the squad from the year that i will be talking about depending on which league um, this one I'm going to start with the Italian Serie A of 1998 and 1999 season. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so 1998-1999 Italian League was won by AC Milan. So Milan finished first with 70 points. It was super tight with the second Lazio with 69 points. Only one point was apart. And then Fiorentina was third and Parma was fourth on the table. Uh, funny enough, Ice Roma finished fifth and Juve sixth and Udinese seventh. So Roma, Juve and Udinese didn't make it to the Champions League. Ah, right, we're going to start with the AC Milan. And in AC Milan, of course, legendary Christian Abbiati which ended up sharing the space with Nelson Dida when Dida came to AC Milan. Uh, we have, of course, legendary uh, Paolo Maldini. I mean, one of the greatest ever. Some people think the greatest defender ever, at least one of the best ever. Um, Costa Cuta, Alessandro Costa Cuta. We have Gigi Sala. Albertini was a really good midfielder. I love, I like that player. Massimo Ambrosini. My memory of Ambrosini was at, well, which one it was? I think 2007? Could be 27 and Champions League or maybe 2005. And uh, it was a quarterfinal or semifinal against PSV Eindhoven when Milan won home in the second leg in Eindhoven. And PSV was crushing AC Milan 3-0, I think. And they just needed one goal because back then there was a, the, the away goal was still in effect. And Ambrosini scored a goal and Milan lost 3-1. And, and then Milan ended up advancing to the, I think, semifinal or the final. So that's my memory of... Uh, Massimo Brosini. And then we have Boban, legendary Boban. Uh, who else is legendary in that squad? Olivier Bierhoff, the German striker. And of course, uh, George Weah, who is Timothy Weah's father, who played for the US national team. And also to this day, is the only African player of, of winning the Ballon d'Or. So that's a really good team, I'll say. Not necessarily a stacked team, but a good team. I don't know. Let me see who's in the bench. Uh, that's known this day. Oh, they have uh, Bruno Gotti on the bench. They have Leonardo, who ended up being Paris Saint-Germain sporting director. He was also the coach of AC Milan, wasn't he? And he also worked for Inter Milan. And they are Ayala uh, Donadoni, who coached the Italian national team. Uh, Francesco Coco. Um, who else? Well, that's about it for AC Milan and the starting lineup. Um, pretty good. Let's compare with the other one. Who finished second on that table? We said it was Lazio de Roma. And Lazio Roma team, let's see. Who's the coach? Sven Goran Eriksson. I'm pretty sure he was the coach of the England national team. Was he at the Euro in Greece? One of those. I know he wasn't the coach of the national team of the, the English national team. Uh, who else do we know on that team? Uh, Sensa Miatovic, rest in peace. And then um, Giuseppe Favalli, Sergio Concesao. Almeida, Dejan Stankovic, who ended up playing with Inter Milan, one of the greatest, greatest, I think you were the Serbian midfielder, a legend in the game. And then Roberto Mancini, who was uh, the coach, it was Manchester City, Manchester City coach, pretty sure he won the league with Manchester City. Um, also a coach the, uh, in Italy, Italy, been coach of the national team as well. And then Christian Vieri, I mean the beast, uh, center forward, striking, really great uh, attacking player. Let's see on their bench, who they had on their bench. Coming off the bench, they had Alessandro Nesta, young Nesta, in his tw in the early 20s. They had Pavel Nedved, who ended up being Ballon d'Or with Juventus, so best player of the world, coming off your bench. Uh, he was in his 20s too. So they had Alessandro Nesta, to me, the best central defender ever. Uh, Pavel Nedved, the Ballon d'Or winner. Uh, who else? Fernando Couto was there. Yeah, that makes sense why they finished second. That's a really good team. Um, like I said, some of the players, Kishan Vieri. Roberto Mancini, Dejan Stankovic, uh, Mijatovic. So yeah, Lazio Roma finished second in 1998-1999 to AC Milan. Who was third on that list, we said? It was Fiorentina. 
let's see who Fiorentina got. Woo! Francesco Toldo, that's my boy. He was the Italian goalkeeper during the Euro 2020. Um, if, if, did he played with Inter Milan too, actually. He was notorious, notorious penalty stopper, Francesco Toldo. Uh, who else they had? Enrich, uh, Padalino, Ricosta. One of the great number 10 ever. And Ricosta also played for AC Milan afterward. And he's currently the president of Benfica Lisbon, I think. Yes, he is. Who else they have? Uh, Gabriele Batistuta, a legendary striker. Next up, number fourth on the league table that year. It's Parma. Parma. Wow. Didn't Buffon, Buffon plays, currently plays in Parma right now. Uh, let's see what they got on the team. They got Gigi Buffon. To me, the best goalkeeper ever. They got Lilian Thuram, one of the greatest defenders. Um, Fabio Cannavaro, of course, great central defender, won the Ballon d'Or. Um, who else? Di Biagio, Juan Sebastian Veron, with a great number 10. Um, Alain Bogosian, um, Enrico Chiesa, who is... Um, what is what's his son's first name? Chiesa, that play from, he plays from Juventus, is his son, actually. I'm forgetting his first name. But, uh, yeah, and Hernan Crespo, legendary striker. Argentina striker, he pretty much was not quite a journeyman in Italy, but he kind of became that way. He also played for Chelsea at some point, then came back to Italy. He played for AC Milan on that 2005 Champions League team that lost to the final to Liverpool. He was the striker then. So Palma made it to the fourth of the table with this with this squad, with Alberto Malezani being the coach, Gigi Buffon, Lilian Turam, Cannavaro, Di Biagio, Veron, Bogosian, Chiesa and Crespo. That's a nice team. That's a nice team. Nice starting eleven. All right. Now let's see how come this team made it on top compared to Juve. What was Juventus squad in 1998 and 1999? Ah, uh, they have Angelo Peruzzi. That was a great goalkeeper. I'm pretty sure he also played for S Roma at some point. Uh, where do I remember? Um, Igor Tudor is the current coach of Olympique Marseille. Plays as a defender over there. Um, Delivio, remember Delivio in the World Cup 1998. Edgar Davids, everybody rem remember the legendary um, Dutch player with the glasses on and the bra and the bra uh, braids. Uh, Didier Deschamps in the midfield with Zinedine Zidane, <laughs> the two Frenchmen, best frenemies right now because Zidane wants Deschamps' job. But they used to be teammate in Juve and they won the World Cup together with France. Also Antonio Conte, who's now the coach of uh, Tottenham. Antonio Conte and then Filippo Inzaghi is the one finishing the squad. And let me see on the on the bench, Takinardi, Pesotto, of course I remember, the Santis, Amoroso. They had Thierry Henry in the bench uh, coming up um, and then became Arsenal legend Thierry Henry. Who else they are? Alessandro Del Piero and Simone Perota. Those are the people I remember from that squad. And uh, overall, I think Juve surprised me that I didn't make the top four that year. With the squad they had, looks pretty stacked team of players. But uh, yeah, that's what happened. History is history. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to try to do another one. Like I said, different year, different era. Um, let me know in the comment who do you think has the best, had the best team or the player that ended up being the bigger player or more legendary among the top four. And uh, as Roma and Juve not making it to the top four, that's a head scratcher. And then Marcello Lippi and... And Carlo Ancelotti coaching Juve that year that didn't make the Champions League. So, let me know in the comment below who was your favorite team in 1998-1999. Who was your favorite player? And then I was trying to figure out which one I'm going to do next. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.